on board KCAA's Inland Park Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM, the station that leaves no listener behind. This is KCAA Radio. Stay tuned for Let's Go Shopping with Bev coming up next. Weekends are made for listening at KCAA News Talk 1050 on your AM dial. Hello and welcome to Let's Go Shopping with Bev. This show brought to you by Starfly Entertainment. Music by Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band. Song title, Living in Paradise. Now here's Bev. Well, welcome to the show, everybody. And yes, it's Friday. Yay. We love Fridays around here. Why? Because it's Friday and tomorrow we don't have to work. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. And uh, the other thing, too, is today, if you read the front of my Facebook where I post, everything this week and next week is all back to school. Oh, yeah. It's that time of year. I know mommies and daddies are happy about it, but the students are not, but they will survive. And our, our guest today is Maria from Fantastic Sam's. They have specials going on for haircuts and all that good stuff, which everybody needs. Also, we're going to be talking to Sean from Bertram's Music. So when the students want to get into music and they have to rent out the instruments, You go to Bertram's Music, that's where everybody goes, that's who has the prices. And also we have Josh from PC Care, Tech Walk, and we're talking about the new computers that we are getting into all of the schools in the area. That's going to be another good thing. And also we're going to be talking about Ross, Staples, and uh, Office Depot. Today and then next week, we're going to hit all the clothes. So the light is a-flashing, and let's see who it is. Joey, who's on the line, please? Uh, we're still trying to get Maria on the line. She's. <laughs> well, why is my line lit up here? Um, I'm on, I'm on hold, hold with them. Oh, oh okay. Uh, as soon as we get, them, get her on the line, we'll have her on the air. Okay. Well, why we're waiting for that? Hey, Josh, how you doing? I'm doing good. I was going to say, I'm going to jump on here for you and bug you. <laughs> okay. I'm doing good. It's been it's been chaotic, you know, because uh, you know the back to the school thing, and you know, obviously we work on computers, so everybody's trying to get that mad dash of getting their computers all worked on before the uh, before the uh, summer break is over. And it's kind of funny because during the summer there's that kind of lull where everybody's like, well, I don't have to worry about it, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get that done before school starts and everything. And then it's like at the last minute, everybody's like, oh, that's that's the last thing they remember. And it's like, oh, I gotta get this done because. You know, when the school starts, I mean, everybody's looking forward to new school clothes, new, you know, they're mm-hmm. getting their binders, they're getting all their stuff going. It's like, oh, it, it was always fun for me. And when I was a kid, I loved computers, but, well, I still love computers, but <laughs> but I, I never really was, it was always like, oh, they got this cool new stuff out, I can get this, you know, I get the get the newest stuff. You know, I was always a shoe person, too, so, you know, I, the newest uh, Jordan shoes and stuff like that, and, mm-hmm. and it was like, Oh, yeah, I forgot I could actually get some stuff for my computer and kind of, you know, talk my parents into getting stuff for that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing when uh, we were in school. Uh, yeah, I was going to school at the Flintstone era. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, and so. Tablets? Yeah, with, with the tablets and what have you. And we uh, we didn't have wheels on the car. We had the big round rocks and this and that. It was a lot of fun back then. But as you could see how we were raised and grown in school, and then when our children and then our grandchildren, and the, it's not really that much of a difference. Basically, what you learn from back to school is, one, the kids are really upset because they don't want to go back to school, right? right. They want to stay on on the vacation. But you're right. It's the clothes, the shoes, who's wearing what, what click are you going to get into, what lunchbox or backpack are you going to have. That's what they look forward to. Yeah, and i got to say, if I had to, well, I can't say do it over, but if I had to go back to the the school age era, it's, it's, trust me, don't... uh, don't rush into adulthood yet because what they don't tell you is there is a school type of environment in that <laughs> job. It is. The, the, the camera. 
Yeah. So anyway, yeah, you're right there. And uh, why we're waiting for this first phone call, you know what, I am going to take a moment. I have another announcement I want to bump out immediately because it is getting down to the end of it. We were talking about the Junior University Musical Theater, and they are doing the 51st anniversary this year. It's really cool. And they are doing Pinocchio. Yes, Pinocchio, I love that one. And uh, they are in the Roosevelt Bowl. And, you know, it's at Pierce Hill Park. Okay, but the real name is Roosevelt Bowl. And they're in uh, Pierce Park. The address is 1001 East Highland Avenue in San Bernardino. And the zip is 91704. And tonight... And tomorrow night, Saturday the 3rd, that's the last performance of this whole thing. And uh, to get in there, it's it's unbelievable. If you go in and just walk in, uh, for, for the, hello, is that, okay. All right, the children are $8 for, for a ticket. Gotcha. All right. And then the adults, uh, where did I write my notes? Yes. Yes, here it is. Sorry, I gave you the wrong info. The children are $5 and the adults are $10. All right? But here's something really cool. When you go to the park and you can get a family pack, that means mommy and daddy, it does not matter how many children that you have under the age of 18, and it's $20. Oh, that's not bad at all. No, it's not. Because you figure mommy and daddy, there's 10. And let's say you have five children, that's 15, right? Yeah. And then you want to have a couple of more children with you. Yeah. There you go. And then um, at the gate, it's $25 for the same thing. Okay? Oh, so if you didn't get online and, and order it right. Uh, now, the gate opens up at 735. The performance is at 8 p.m. They are selling refreshments. Uh, soda, the water, you know, all of that. Cookies and all that good stuff they're going to be selling. Cookies? Yeah, cookies and potato chips and all that, all the good snacks. Yeah, they're going to be selling them out. Yeah, cookies. Yeah, I know, you're the cookie monster. <laughs> Those like cookies. Yeah, cookie monsters here. And there's two big things, boys and girls. No dogs. Period. No dogs, no animals, orangutans, elephants, whatever you have, are not allowed in that park. The other one, no smoking is allowed in that park. No exceptions, nothing. If you come in smoking or have an animal, you're back out the gate. You just lost it. Okay? And uh, it's it's unbelievable. I've been getting good results from everybody. I am going tonight to the performance. I didn't have a chance before. And my grandson, Michael Anthony, has been in, this is his fourth year oh, with nice. them. He graduated from Redlands High School. He has been in the arts and drama and everything all the way through school. And he is going to be playing. Guess who he's playing? Uh-oh. Who's that? Uh... Pinocchio? No. Nope. I was going to say that would be too obvious. <laughs> W.C. Cricket. He is the spirit. Oh, nice. Yes. So that's what's going on tonight and tomorrow. So if you want to, re- you know, get out of the house a little bit, have something nice to do, there you go. I recommend, though, to bring a pillow because in benches after a while they get a little hard. So bring a pillow, something to sit on. And as you know, the nights are getting cooler. So bring a blankie or something to cover yourself up with. And they have more than enough parking there. So that's uh, what's going on with them. And I wanted to get it out of here and tell everybody we've been talking about this ever since it began. So if you go, have a very, very good time. And I will tell you next week what I sing. Oh, cool. Okay? Yeah, so that's a fun thing going on this weekend. The other big thing, why we're still waiting to get Maria on the phone, why we're doing the announcements. Now, this is right up your alley. Uh-oh. And it's up Joey's alley, too. Up in Wrightwood. Everybody knows Wrightwood, right? Mm-hmm. And they're having the 19th annual Mountain Classic Car Show. And this is way cool. I go to them. Last year was the only year that I missed 
because I was in Seattle. But it's really, really, really quite cool. They have all the old cars up there. They're having bands. They're having parades. They're having trophies. They are selling uh, T-shirts for $15 a piece. Um, food, all the vendors, all the cars, you name it. Nice. Uh, yeah, and they, they for a mountain town, for lack of oxygen, these people really put on an event. It's unbelievable how well they do this. And it's really, really fun. And then also what they're doing is, you know, they go, the judges go and they look at the cars and all this good stuff, and then they judge them and, you know, da-da-da-da-da. And it starts, uh, matter of fact, ooh, look at this. It starts next weekend, next Friday. And then Saturday, August 17th, well, uh, uh, Friday the 16th and Saturday the 17th, that's what it's going to go. And, and so, you know, take a good drive up there. They have a lot of restaurants, a lot of shops up there. It's The place is absolutely fabulous. Get the children up into some nice, clean air and see all this fun. And uh, they're going to be having dancing. They're having a DJ. They're having bands. You name it, they're having it up there. And then all classic music? Yes, it, oh, it's nice. it's a whole so mixture. It's, it's the whole theme then. That's just yeah. the car. That's cool. Right, it's it's a whole thing. I mean, yeah, you guys got to go up there because, like I said, I uh, know Patty and Leo. They own the Whitewood Inn Pub, mm-hmm. and with all the years that I know and all the events, they know how to put on an that's event. Cool. Oh yeah, wait till you see the Fourth of July thing. Oh, that's way cool too. Oh, right, you're on Fourth of July one? Yeah, and then at Christmas time they have uh, shop at home, and they have the Christmas parade, and they have Santa Claus up there, and all. Oh, yeah, I'm. See, the, I've never been to one, so I, that's cool. I have to keep you informed. And then also up at the Wrightwood Inn and Pub, their address is 1350 Highway Two, and uh, they're getting ready for football season. And on Monday, they September 9th is kickoff for football, so they're going to have a big thing um, up there at the pub, 4 p.m. They're having chili dogs, tacos, all that. They're having uh, contests, the T-shirts, the whole nine yards. And then also on Thursday night, starting at 9 until Saturday at 9 to closing, they have karaoke. They have dancing up there. They have food in there. They just have pool tables. They just rock it. Yeah, these people really know how to party. And I think because they're mountain people, you know. <laughs> so there you go. And next week we'll mention this again. Okay, now do we have... Uh, we're still waiting for Marie to finish her haircut. Um, she's okay. working on uh, somebody's hair right now. But we do have Sean from Bertrand's Music. Well, good. Hi, Sean. Welcome to the show. Hi, Bev. Thanks for having me. You're welcome, sweetie. And how's it going? It's going excellent, actually. We're just, uh, I, you know, I don't know how many people have kids or, or are familiar with what's going on in San Bernardino, but August 5th is actually the start-up date for school. So we are prepping for back to school right now. We're starting to get a lot of people in the store, but uh, we know that in the next two weeks, that's when it's really going to get packed in there. And, yes, talking about back to school, I think every mother and father are so happy that back to school finally got here. And the kids are waiting for the doomsday countdown. <laughs> yeah, they are, you know. And, uh, Sean, do you remember a couple of years ago when Staples had that commercial? They took one of the Christmas songs, and they were singing about it. Uh, what a wonderful time of year to, you know, the children are going back to school. Have you seen that commercial? I vaguely remember the commercial. Yeah, I seen that, and I, I rolled with laughter. I was that was the best commercial ever, you know. <laughs> yes. Now, Sean, talking about back to school, would you explain to all of our listeners, or tell all of our listeners, when the uh, young students—we can't call them children—when the students are going out for music and they need to rent out their instruments, would you tell them what you have, please? Absolutely. So I know there's always a lot of confusion because going back to school, you're inundated with all these different um, things that you need to get and information from different stores, different teachers that you have, just different requirements altogether. So what we try to do is we try to make it as simple as possible. So Bertrand's music was founded by John Bertrand Sr. in 1983. We just felt 